Hey, what's up, guys? 81Z28, working on it as everybody wanted and as I want it. So, uh, gonna start stripping everything down today, get fuel lines out, brake lines out, break some bolts loose. I got some subframe connectors, cut them fuckers out of there. And then other shit, take this off, and a bunch of shit I'm taking off. And uh, we're gonna get moving along. So, uh, and there'll be another story time today. Just to let you know. Hopefully you like the last one. So, but, uh, yep. So let me get going. I think I'm gonna have to order quarter panels. I gotta get the doors and fenders. I have a hood. I'm gonna try to resalvage the bumper cover. Don't know if I can, but we'll find out. So let me get this thing up in the air. Or actually, let me take this off first. And then I'll get up in the air and start cutting them lines. <laughs> For the camera. I'm surprised this thing's fucking running. Yeah, this thing lasts all the way through this cut. I'm I'm buying everybody dinner. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, kind of started using it as a storage container. So I got to take these fenders out. I got to take the uh, bumper cover off. Got that, and we see how rusty these fucking floors really are. <laughs> Screw here is obstructed by the rear window. The rear window seems a little loose. So I took the rest of the screws out. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Six ones breaking my balls. So I'm gonna go in there with a brand new razor knife and try to cut this window out. Welcome to sketchy shit window. Ah fuck! Welcome to sketchy shit window removal. There. Ah. That's some heavy, heavy rear glass. Holy shit, that's heavy. All right. All right, so here, I mean, it's a little shaky here, a little rotted. But let's we'll see what happens when I clean it up. God damn, that shit's hard. Got like string in it and everything. Ah, I'll punch myself in the face. All right, so, so far, it looks pretty good except this area right here. That looks like shit. I can probably clean that up. Well, I'm not worried about that because I'm putting another top on it. I have a factory T-top I'm gonna put on there. So kind of like here over will be good. It's just down here I don't have. And we gotta look up in here. So we'll get a quick look around. And it's got cruddy, rusty shit. All right guys, so I got tired of monkey dicking with the uh, screwdriver, pliers, pliers pulling and all that shit. So I got my electric scraper out from Harbor Freight. They have some pretty okay tools. So I'm gonna blast through this in about 10 seconds, I bet. So it's gonna be getting noisy, so. Cover up your ears. Oh yeah, sounds like you're at the dentist's office. So if you don't like the dentist, please leave now. Because this is horrible. That literally only took two minutes, I guess. So you can see it works pretty, pretty well. Now I just have to go over that. Ah, that pulls right off. So, but it don't look too bad. I think that can clean up. Nothing major, major, major. This is all solid down here.
well, it's not rusted all the way through, so that'll that'll clean up. Yeah, absolutely, that will clean up. So uh, let's put that in a good, safe place. I gotta stop buying junk cars because every time I go to move something, spiders. I fucking hate spiders. Spiders for ever since that Corvette was in here, that damn Fiero, and probably this, I have spiders in my garage. Put up in the air and start taking the brake lines out and the fuel lines out so i can get this thing dropped tomorrow and start working on the floor but i still got the interior to do all right guys so the battery died on the camera and uh i got all the bolts out now i got these uh where are they here i got these lines here they're rubber i'm gonna cut them and then this section here will be out and then I think I got a couple bolts up top. I got to drop the car down. There should be a couple bolts up top. But everything underneath is out. Uh, then I'm going to get my whizzer. And I'm going to hack off the uh, those. I'm going to cut the brake lines. And everything should fall into place. So with that said, let me get going. And cut my fingers. I want this dry rod it. Brake hose and dull razor blade. Yeah. Oh, it's got gas in it. Don't smell good. Ah, it's running down my arm. Good thing I got oil dry down. Oh, yellow, like dark yellow, like kidney infection yellow. I'm sure you can't really see it on there. All right. So this shit. What the fuck's that holding up? That's that. Uh, these fucking frame connectors. So, which is a great idea, I'm gonna cause sparks right now with this. So that, that the fire is right over there though. So, hmm, I guess you guys wouldn't see that though, huh? Look at, look at this asshole. He's gonna catch his garage on fire and burn up his wife's 55 Chevy and his car is outside. It's not my car, mine's outside. So, all right. Uh, I'll be right back. Ha, ah, fooled you. Got the saws all. So let me uh, cut this. head again son of a this fucking wire right in the fucking head
What the fuck do I got there? Oh, the rubber hose. Let me cut that. How's that song go? Blind it by the light. Looking down the garage and walk right into the rear. Right in the old noggin. Yeah, blind it by the light. All right, that one's done. So this back half is done. Half of that half is done. Yeah, half of that half. That sounds good. Cut this hose here. Get some brake fluid all over my floor. some brake fluid on my floor. Oh, okay. Oh, there it goes. That's yeah, not on the floor, it's on my tripod. All right. So now I gotta cut that frame. Yes, and probably the whole car will just fall in half and fall off the lift like that. Yep, so. Okay, go right through the floor. And this fucker is dripping. God damn it. Yeah, stay there. All right. All right, so if you want your saw blades to last longer, use a WD-40. Lubricate it. Spray it on there. Spray it on the blade. Spray, spray, spray. Get that thing to cool off. Lubricate it. It'll be even cut better. So, and here we go. Here, boop, boop. Got fucking water in it. I was like, what the hell is leaking? I looked down, I looked up, and it's pissing right there in front of me. Okay. Nah. I didn't feel like putting it down, so I dropped it. Ah, good job. Safety first. So all I gotta do is disconnect this line here, and then that whole section will come out. So fuck the line wrench. I don't need a line wrench. Mm. Ah. Hmm. Okay. We break this with the interrupted broadcast. Fuck oh, a friggin' green stink bug. Ah, before he goes brown. They, and he's down and over there, right there. He's flipping on his back like Flipper. So let's go back to our normally scheduled uh, broadcast. All right, so that's all disconnected up top. Take a shake these loose, shake, shake, shake. There we go. Oh fuck, I don't want to spray uh, brake fluid all over my wife's car over there. I'm trying to feed it through this. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna look, make sure I didn't spray the uh, brake fluid on her car, because that would suck. Not 
back stooping and be like, I don't know. Where'd you run over? Shot tower. All right, so now all the lines are out along this side, 100%. What the fuck is this? Uh, speedometer cable. Speedo cable. I got that. Uh, I ain't worried about that right now. Got the shifter cable. Got these lines here that I cut, which come up around there and down there and over there and over through the woods to the master cylinder we go. Boop. So, uh, yep, we'll get to that too. So let me get, set you guys up on a tripod and we'll go tackle that now. No, I'm wearing one too much. Well, you can see the car used to be black at one time. Uh, not only I already knew that because of the uh, VIN tag. Cow tag, whatever the, the tag that's up on the cow, that's what you want to call it. The whole body being silver shit. Anyway, car used to be black, and apparently they painted it in white and put these blue stripes on it. It was actually black with uh, silver interior. So I'm assuming, now I'm just assuming that it had the silver marks down the side. Um, I've been contemplating back and forth should I make it black with silver? Because back then that's what I really wanted was the black with the silver or the black with the gold. Uh, but I ended up with a white one with the orangey red stripes with the red interior. So, uh, the black is still in the back of my mind, but I still want to move forward with the white and the orangey red stripes down the side. So, that's what I think I'm going to do. But I just realized, because I'm getting ready to take these doors off, that uh, these bolts here are 7 16 not a half inch or a nine sixteenth with what you thought it might be. Seven sixteenths. I feel more safe now. The last one's the fun one. Like an idiot me, I forgot to pull the wires through for the uh, power windows. Don't have power locks. Great. Oh, fuck. And these doors weigh probably about, I don't know, three fucking ton. Fucking mirror. I guess it'll help if I unplug it. I'm getting new doors. I'm getting new doors anyway. But I don't want to break the glass and shit. Or the wires. Got a lot of tension on them wires right now. Ah, fucking moron. Huh. Somebody already cut the wires and stuff like that. But let me try and unplug it. We'll try and do the right thing. Try. Fucking doors are heavy. Ah. Heavy and they let the slide. Come on. Yeah. Got it. All right. I got my wood score next. I don't want to hit it. Uh, I got to The mirror is always good too. I think I got about two hernias out of that one. Let's go to the other side. Well, guys, I'm a complete moron, as you all know. I forgot to hit that little button right there on the camera. So, the only thing you missed, I unplugged it this time. 
and I took out the shitty speaker and he cut that up and they have a aftermarket uh, power door lock but this door is the original door it's got the black all in here you can see up along here but it does have some rust down here I'm gonna try and save this door yeah. Literally, before I buy passenger side door, I'm going to try and save this one. The other one's completely fucked. It actually has a flat iron plate going across it. I'll show you later. And, uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and keep this original door so I can see where it's tried. But let me get the safely secured 716 bolts out. to do so when I open it the whole fucking door just falls breaks the glass and everything else on the door that I want to keep so with that said who knows what's gonna happen when I do it now when I take these bolts out Car, put it on the lift and carry this turret outside with the other one. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot to pull the wires through. There we go. As you see, I got the wires out. Alright, I'm breaking up right sweat, guys. Guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into this dirty spider car and clean it out while you guys watch me. Yeah. So, I'm not going. going to keep these seats. I'm going to have them reupholstered though. My seats were ready to my Camaro, so looks like I got everything to start from. That, that's a plus. Good hinges are still good. Oh, shit. The box is good. Dry rotted sticky shifter knob. Three dark space. Headlight, where's my trash can? Alright guys, so now it's story time. Uh, this story happened back in 1997, 90, 80-ish in the summertime. We were having a lot of rooftop burglaries from the uh, storefronts. They were going in, robbing the places. So eventually we had to get detailed at the shopping malls or whatever it may be until we got a call, then we could go out until we found out who was doing this. So I was sitting there reading my magazine down in front in Oregon at the uh, little strip mall there in front of cheerleaders. Keep that one in mind. I got that one coming up. So uh, while I'm there, I uh, probably about like uh, one o'clock in the morning. So I see his car screeching around the turn coming down Oregon Avenue on the front street. Got my attention. I'm looking I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? Or what the fuck is he doing? So all of a sudden the car comes flying around a turn and made a real sharp turn and went poof right in the telephone pole right in front of where across from where I was at. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Now I'm pissed, I gotta do an accident report. So uh, I drive across the street, put my lights on, and I uh, approach the vehicle and I see one occupant in the car and while I, I was asking the guy if he was okay because he just 
waffled the telephone pole at like 40 miles an hour. Um, I observed that his pants were down around his knees. I'm, you know, I'm trying to process all this real quick. It's in the morning, I'm tired and I'm flipping through a magazine. And uh, <laughs> so then the, the female, she was laid across the front seat, but on the floor at this time. So I'm like, what the fuck? And his Johnson was all hanging out. So he picked up this broad at the bar. They, she was bobbing for apples per se. And he got excited what, with his uh, carrot getting waxed. And being drunk, he went right into a telephone pole. But uh, the story's not over with just that. He was drunk. He did get charged for a DUI and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, probably about two years later, I get a subpoena to go to a uh, deposition. She was suing him for an unreasonable amount of money. And her lawyer subpoenaed me for a deposition. So I go to the deposition and I sit there and I said, uh, do you really want to use me as a witness in this case? And he had no idea what happened because it wasn't in the accident report or anything like that. Uh, it was all with my notes because it, he was just careless at driving. So uh, anyway, uh, I told him the story and everything and I never heard nothing back ever since then. So I don't know if they settled out of court or if they would have went to court, they would have had to subpoena me for the police report. So I think he uh, took the out of court route. That's what I think. But uh, that's story time for this one. I, I'm going to have one until the end of my YouTube career, which is really in a career. I just like doing these videos. But I figure I would just want to share some stories with you guys. And uh, it's, it's it was a fun career that I had. Um, I did get a chance to meet a lot of famous people. I met Terry Bradshaw, Jimmy Johnson, uh, Jessica Simpson. I'll pop up some pictures of my next one because this video was longer than I thought it would be and uh, a lot a lot of people I've met so I'll uh, I'll show you guys so um, again make sure you hit that like and subscribe button let me know what you think of story time Whoops. So I was taking this trim piece off here. That screw came out, no problem at all. That one here, rusted, bitch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna pick at it, see if I can clean that inside out. If not, I'm gonna get my cutoff wheel and put a slash in it, then use it as a flathead. So stay tuned. There you have it guys. I used my cutoff wheel and let me switch hands here because I'm not gonna be able to get that left handed. Stand up. Save that trim piece. Got my compressor running because of that shit. So, alright, let me unscrew this and uh, be right back. Alright, guys, with trim pieces and stuff like that, I like to 
tape the screws in the place so that way I don't lose it. If I lose this whole piece, then I lose everything. So which I doubt I'm gonna lose that whole piece. So with that said, uh, we'll remove that now. I do have a bag for door seal trim, door seal trim, which they're all the same screws. And that's good, they all came off. Got that off. So these here also will get screwed in after I pick that up. All right guys, so now it is ADHD, kind of, oh, that's folded in, I can't remove that yet. So anyway, we'll go back to this. Got to remove uh, these torque bits here. I think that cover piece comes off. And I think there's a couple more, probably four bolts that hold the gauges in. These people are ignorant, they just drive loud tractors around. Anyway, we'll take this cover piece off, then I think there's four bolts that hold the gauge cluster in. Uh, the rest of it unplugs and then my speedometer needle is broken. Okay. So, but the car's low mileage. It only has 84,000. No, probably 200, 384,000. So anyway, like I said, take that off. We'll take that out. And then I'll figure out the rest of the shit, how to get the rest of the shit out. So, cause I'm going to get that out. Probably the windshield. Uh... This, they put a torque screw up in there. Why, I don't know, but they did. I have no idea what the hell this is for. A drain tube? I don't know. It means on your leg. So anyway, let me get going and rip this shit apart and I'll be right back. One more thing, guys, I realized. These bolts that hold the shifter in are a half inch, but yet the bolts that hold the door up are 7 16 you decide. All right, where you guys want to go? Backseat drivers. I think I'm gonna get a tetanus shot. I'm gonna go to the hospital and get a tetanus shot because all this rust just went up my ass. Sitting here. Because if you remember in the first video, I had to cut the uh, seats out and I got the jagged brackets down there. Feels real good. What the fuck? Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. Factory torque, factory torque. Missing. Unbelievable. Where are my other screws going around? How can I do it? Ah. Here we go. Trash. Trash. Fucking idiot. These probably ain't the right ones. So we got it going up on an angle. Ah, let's see. Disconnect all this crap over here. The fuck fell apart. Oh, lovely. Oh, fuck me. Fucking snakeskin behind here. Yeah, what the fuck? Let me see this shit. My God. Good place to shed a fucking skin behind a fucking dash cover. Come on, get off of there.
guess there ain't no mice in the car. There was a nest. I think I might be sitting on it. But that's great. What else? We're right there. But here, check this shit. Well, I'll be damned. Fucking snakeskin. I hate snakes as much as I hate spiders. Well, guys, first step is now to vacuum all this shit up. I'm going to vacuum some of this rust up, too. Well, I had to vacuum out. So I got it hooked up now. I'm going to go suck it all up. In one big suck it one. Got a brake pedal. No. Pump it up. Well, would you, what would you know? The two tabs up top are broken, and the two tabs at the bottom are not, and they're not screwed in. So, now, hopefully, I don't get bit by anything spiders, tarantulas, snakes. Go. I gotta get that speedo cable taken care of real quick. Is that a clip? Get rid of this fucking gauge before I do anything. Some people should not own cars. Oh shit. Would you look what I just found in the ashtray? I got me a dollar bill from 1999. In a spider web house. That thing is old and dry. Fuck it. Put that up there too. <laughs> I really didn't go through this car that well. I'm gonna remove the uh, shifter. It's getting on my nerves. Last one stripped. Uh. Got it. Probably bet it, but All right, so there's shifter bolt holes. And this dash, dash through. I gotta get my pad and sit on my pad because there's all kinds of shit going on in my legs, my ass. Fuck.
whole HVAC system is rotted and cracked and everything else. It's literally just falling apart. Dash fell apart. Imagine that. All right. Oh, well, guys. Take a look. It's not too, too bad on there. It could be a lot worse. I'm kind of happy with that. So, but all this shit still has to come out. All of it. So, I'm pretty happy. I have no idea what that's for. Maybe wires. That wire probably gets tucked up in there. Probably got stuck in there when I ripped it out. I don't know. So, but let me finish taking this crap out. All right, guys. So I removed the tow board cover that goes up behind the gas pedal and brake pedal. Uh, it is that piece right there. Okay. So this is what I say why people should not own fucking cars that don't know what they're doing or don't work on them at least. Look. Was this a fucking concrete bolt or something? Look at this shit. This is probably a factory one. All right, I'm gonna say that's factory. But this, fucking really? Look at the size difference. Look at that shit. Why? If you don't know what you're doing, don't work on fucking cars because that there pisses me off. All right, enough said. Back to work. Alright guys, so something minor but could have been really bad happened off camera. Here, I'll show you. Yep, I started to, I unraveled it a little bit. I'm like, you know what? Let me put this on camera. That hurt like a motherfucker because that little star thing in there was like a Chinese, it was like a fucking cutting saw cutting into my finger. So, and I'll show you what I was working on. Removing this so I can take the big box from the inside out, and I'll show you that. All that shit. So, yeah, so, I guess wear regular gloves. Don't wear rubber gloves, because that sucked. So, let me uh, get back to work and I'll show you. So, that's what it was that started to tear into my finger. You see a white line where I was scratching it. Right up along there. Oops, see right along there? That would have been horrible. Look at that shit. But, all right, now you know. All right, guys. Hopefully this heater box here comes out. Heater slash AC box. Heater core. I hate to do a heater core job on this. I would hate it. Well, it looks like that has to come off. That would really suck. Well, at least it ain't tight, tight. But uh, I'm gonna get like vintage air stuff and pop that. Vintage air stuff and pop that in. So it'll be a lot smaller, more efficient. It'll probably freeze you out compared to this old bitty. Uh, what's that? Wire and another wire. Vacuum hose. It's a vacuum hose. Alright. So I'll cut it up there then. These cars ran off a lot of vacuum. And so now let me unravel this crafty mess. Another vacuum line. Another vacuum line. All right, and 
And now, another vacuum line, another vacuum line. Everything's vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. So, now, I have to disconnect that. That is what I'm looking at. That's the wrong size. What the fuck did I just do with it? It might be this one here. Too small. Too big of me. Um, they're all the controls. So, I'm going to take that whole bracket off. Then that's out. Then I got the insulation up there. This flippity flappy thing here. What the hell's that? Oh, it feels like something's in there. So I have that. You see the gauges are all out, dashes out. That kick panel's out. This kick panel will come out in a second as I get that out. I'll sweat my ass off in here. I have a fan, but can't hear me talk. Um, steering column's gonna stay in until I get on that side of the garage. And then I can drop, but I can take this out, pop the subframe out, roll that out, drop the rear, roll that out, take my measurements and go from there. And my 80 didn't have that, I don't think. You guys know if an 8081 Z28 came on a map light like that? I just thought it was a, I had a round dome light. I thought it was a round dome light. So, but uh, yeah. Moving along, moving along. <sighs> Tired. So anyway, um, let me get back to work. I gotta get a socket to get this bracket off of here. These one, two, three, four, four friggin' screws. And this, I'm gonna come off. Be easier if I just take the fucking cable off, I guess. Pants are hooked again. What the fuck? fillers now that's it it's odd driver's side didn't have this the vent but passenger side does figure it out now now you gotta sort out what's junk and what's not where's my light yeah. I don't know how they got any vent air from something that's completely sealed up i have no idea now i gotta figure this out ah that's what that is <laughs> not only this uh helps you indicate what gear you're in but it's also a defroster blocker so you slip that in there if you don't want to see how the passenger side or vice versa for a driver's side Windshield out to do that? No. All right, guys. So now I am going to take off the mesa cylinder and the booster. Disconnected the brake pedal already. I'm going to crack these loose. I had them soaking for a little bit, so hopefully they're not screwed. got rust on it though. Just found out I need tow boards. Just, I just want to spend more money on it because, you know, I have uh, 
bumped it up better to do than uh, spend money on this car. But I'm not going to be nowhere near $30,000. Like I said, I'm retired. What else am I going to be doing? Doing? Sitting, watching YouTube on TV? No, I'm going to spend it on here. I don't have to work because I'm retired. Why would I work if I'm retired? So this is what I do to pass time away is entertain you guys, I guess. Or bore you. I, I don't know one or the other. So, but I'm going to continue to do, to do this. And uh, I got to get a bigger socket because I thought it was a line 16 and it's not. It's a 5.8. You know what I did find out though? GM really like to fuck with people because they mix metric with standard on here. Yes. A uh, couple of the, actually this here, it's not a 9 16 or 5 8 I lied. So let's see what exactly it is. Is it a 16 or a 17? Mm, might be a 15. A fucking 15 millimeter. So, because there's no play in it. The other ones had play. So, yeah. They like to uh, do that apparently. I guess they were getting ready for 1982. Yeah, let's screw with these assholes. When they're going to take their car apart, we're just going to have metric and standard in 1981. I like to find building on this thing. I really, really do. <laughs> Did the old Stradaroni here. I don't even know if they still have cores on these. We'll find out though when I go to buy one that needs a core. So I'll hold on to it. That lid back on. Turn that over there for now. And it looks like the power booster I got to do from the inside, I believe. not own cars that don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh yeah, this looks like it will fit. That's a good one. This is what they had in there for the sunroof cover. Unreal. Well, now 
I know where the mice were living. Up in there. Yep. That's trashed. You know what? I can't get this son of a bitch out. it so that's a good sign put that out ow headliner was made out of a couple millimeters of oh my god we got more Phillips screwdrivers in a flathead and I don't think this is factory at all. Sure went back and looked at my, my my car if it shows it. But yeah, I'm breathing in all this shit. That's great. I'm sure it's healthy. All this mouse piss and shit. So, now you get my cutters. This one's gonna be like playing Monopoly when you land on jail. But instead, straight to the trash. Look at this shit. Folds up really nice. Can we go? All right, guys. So inside the trunk, there is a uh, connector. Unplug it, and it pulls out. These won't fit through the hole, even though they probably would, but I don't know, it was easier that way. So this is out, and uh, now I gotta pull this part that way, that way. So let me get to it. when it was time lapse and playing with the uh, windshield. What I was doing was I had this brake right here and I was heating it up with propane torch and it literally just cuts that far crap, I forget what it's called, or something. It just cuts it. And then you know, I was pulled back and it actually pulled it back in. I was getting those clumps of it. As you see here, I was tossing on my shirt so I didn't want to get on my, uh, floor so now it's in the trash so uh now i have an issue i can't get to the bottom so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my heat gun and i'm going to put pressure on the windshield that way it's going to start slowly pushing away from it windshield's already cracked it was cracked when i got the car so i'm not worried about it gotta get a new one um but yep that's what i'm going to do now so i'm going to put on another time lapse <laughs> Heat 
this up till it gets really, really hot. And it's gonna be like cutting this shit like butter. Windshield guy told me how to do this. But this should be longer. Make sure you breathe in all those fumes. Feels good. So you get it here, look. And you just push. You're gonna have to do it a couple of times. So let that cool off. Keep this back up again. Get more of that crap off. It's not too, too time consuming, but it's all right. Look at that. Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna go up the window channel here. Wear glasses, wear gloves. If you wanna get this shit in your eyes, any, um, any of the glass or this car shit. So, safety first. All right guys, so there you have it. It's got some rust, but like I said, I'm putting a new roof on anyway, so that's all gonna be cleaned up. I'm gonna clean that up anyway, just to see what I got. So I gotta get the spot welds out and everything else. So that's that, and I'll bring it back down here, get you all dizzy. You can see how that stuff was just cutting just like butter. Now I do have some residue left over, which you get prep, prep wall. And that will take all that out and also brake clean works and diesel fuel, all that crap works on this shit. So, but I think the prep wall and the brake clean actually work pretty good. I got to get up in here real quick. Uh, but yeah, that's it on that. So now I just got to go back, drop that steering column and take that rat's nest of wires out. And uh, that's that. So as you can see, that's the front. That's the engine bay wiring that goes into that hole there. I already got the back out as you've seen. So as soon as I get that rat's nest out and clean that up, we're gonna flip flop the cars around. I'm gonna back this in so I can roll the front subframe outside and then I can work on that when I need to. Uh, I'm gonna jack up the, of course, if I roll it out, I gotta jack that up. So that's gonna get put up in here on jack stands. So I'm gonna take my measurements and uh, Start cutting that floor out. We're moving on pretty, pretty good. So, be right back. All right, guys. So I did do some work uh, off camera. I want to hurry up and get some stuff done uh, because I want to set this car up for Monday. Today's Friday. I want to set it up for Monday so I can start cutting into that floor. Uh, I want to get all my measurements, get it all set up, and stuff like that. So I'll give you a walk around the car. 
and let you look at everything. I want to clean all that shit up eventually too. So. Completely gutted inside. Once I get it over to the other side there, then I will take that steering column out and disconnect that. But I wanted to steer it because I'm going to back it in over there. So I can't take the parking brake out yet because they have it uh, pinched between the floor and that tin and silicone and all that shit. So with that said, that's going to have to wait. So I do have some rust down at the bottom here down along here and down on the floor there. That's all gotta get fixed. All right, move it along, move it along. Passenger side is pretty solid. Down along here, as you can see. So, but I do have the full floor, full floor from that seam here all the way back to that seam there so i got the back rear seats and all that i do have to order the tow boards because i didn't think they were as bad as they were i really didn't look so i'm gonna have to order i'm gonna order a whole hump or maybe half and half i don't know and see how that cleans up first so let's check that out first and then uh i'm gonna place my order which will probably be monday and then we'll go back and uh, I also took off the spoiler or whatever you want to call them there. I knew there was going to be rot. So that was no surprise. And I didn't think those would be all those spider webs. But I got them. Fill up the trunk with some of the stuff I'm keeping. I have to go through all this crap here have to go through all this crap here and see what I'm going to use and see what is actually trash. Um, a lot of it's trash. Dashboard, AC shit, heater shit. But I'm going to keep it for now because not all of it, but some of the stuff. Center console's junk. That's going. That tin piece is going. Those are staying. Gauges are going because they're trashed. So and then we have down along here you see I got some rot right down in there, got rot there, and that's when it's rotted all in the inside. So uh, probably gonna have to cut it from here up. I just wanna check it out. I do have a ding here. Just noticed that, have that dent. So yep, this car is pretty much uh, gone. And you know, I got a Phillips head over here then the one on the passenger side is a fucking flathead. That shit drives me nuts. I can't stand that. But, uh, yep, so that's uh, the end of today. Today is Friday. I'll be back on it Monday. Like I said, Monday will be over on this side. This will be over here. Um, so I'll see you guys on Monday. This is all the crap that I ripped out of the car. So I got to throw out what I got to throw out and keep what I'm going to keep. I got a couple bins. And uh, we're going to go from there. And then whole wire harnesses in front of the Porsche. So let me get going and get this shit cleaned up. You don't want to watch that. Trust me. What's up, guys? It is now Monday. A few days later, I took the weekend off. Uh, Camaro is going over to the other bay, so I can take the subframe out and the rear out. Then we're going to cut that damn floor out. But uh, I got this new tool from Snap-on. I'm not promoting Snap-on. I'm not sponsored by Snap-on. Unless they want to sponsor me, that would be wonderful. Uh, but I highly doubt it. So, uh, there's this wire wheel. It's very dangerous. Very. Uh, make sure you wear a full face shield, long sleeves. Hmm. Like, poke you. So, I was testing it out. And, uh, very impressive on rust. Uh, I'm going to show you. Let me put this down. Okay, now there's nothing you can do about the pitting, but I was like, ah, I think I might put new frame rails in. But I just tried that and it tore that shit up. I mean, it is good. There's some heavy rust there, just a little bit of pitting. 
I don't think I'm going to I'm first I'm going to check the inside of the frame rails before I decide I'm not going to do anything. So if the inside of frame rails look like the outside, then I'm just going to put new ones in. So with that said, uh, but yeah, I didn't do this side yet. This side ain't as bad as the other side. So, but if the insides are completely screwed with rust, then guess what? I am going to put new ones in. So I won't know until I take that floor out and see what they look like. Uh, but yep, I got it all sweeped up over on this side. That's a mess right there. I gotta get rid of that. That's my full face shield I was using. So this puppy is now coming over to this side. So, and I gotta cover these engines up, but uh, I'll be right back. guys so uh the right side shackles and all that shit are undone uh the left side are almost undone i have one more bolt that just spins and it won't come out so i'm gonna have to cut the top out and see what's going on so yeah, come along for the ride all right guys so uh now i got my air compressor turned on so ready to go Work up with a little hole in here and uh, see what's going on.
guys. So this is what I am dealing with, this little stubborn one here. Uh, it's one of them speed nuts, and the speed nut is just spinning. So I just gotta cut it out. I'll cut it, cut it, I'll cut it, I'll cut it. And then I'll air hammer it and do it all, whatever else I have to do. Look, look at that rust, look at that rust. It's wonderful rust. So I'm gonna have to get one of these too. And cut that down there. All right, let me get the son bitch out. All right, so after, I don't know, maybe three, four minutes, got that, so now I'm gonna get the air hammer and boop, blow that right out. All right, so I'll be right back. Well guys, I don't have time to look for my air hammer punch, so I'm gonna try this, see if that'll work. Well, let's see what happens. Alright guys, one more, this rear shackle, the one I was breaking my balls earlier, front ones are already dropped, this one's dropped, and it's over here, drop that one. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, now I gotta cut the uh, parking brake cables. Uh, I didn't say I was a rocket scientist. Far from that. Yes. <laughs> I throw them nuts. I fetch them. So, I think I had the door shut with the air conditioner on, but I want more light in here for today. Plus, I got to lose a few pounds. Doctor says I'm fat. So, so with that, I figure I'll sweat it out. Ah, fuck. I thought I screwed my nut on. Parking brake cables and wheel that out. I'll clear this section out right here and wheel this monstrosity out. Jack it up. The car is too low. Sit in the rear quarters. So this will be fun. Fuck.
thought it was gonna fucking flip. Oh boy, that would have sucked. There we got it, guys. All right, now I gotta clean this monstrosity up over here. says I'm fat, so here's my exercise. Junk. Oh, boy. I think it's time to take a break. Yes. So, sub frame should be a lot easier. I already took the steering column off, off camera, and I'm dying right now because I'm fat and out of shape. I guess the doctor's right. If I love food, Love my sandwiches. Sandwiches are great. All right, my peeps. Here we go. Ah, I didn't show you the hole afterwards, did I? After it was all cleared up. Yep, there's the hole. All going. So now. <laughs> so here is the car now without the rear. It looks better. <laughs> Watch out and kill myself in the toolbox. Nothing to see under there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now I am going to tackle the front subframe. It's only four bolts. I've, like I said, I've been soaking them, so hopefully they'll cooperate. And then I can roll that out. And then what I'm gonna do with the front subframe is, I'm gonna use that snap-on wheel thing. Um, and that's going to make that look really good. So I was going to send it out and get it powder coated, but nope, not a, not going to happen. I spent money on that tool. I am going to wire wheel that. It might take about four hours to get it all done and then get it all uh, painted up. Looking pretty. Back to work. This one's always fun, right? the dynamite. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I gotta fix that. Well, guys, so that's going to end it on this video. Uh, next Friday, the, the next week, the Camaro build will be on YouTube, either Thursday or Friday. So at that time, we'll have new rockers, new floor in it. Um, and what else? whatever else I get involved in. So, but you'll see. Just follow along. And uh, again, make sure you uh, do that. I really, really appreciate it. So everything's looking pretty good right now. But uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.